Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to include JavaScript in page header. So let's get started. In this video we will cover the head additional. And next video we will cover the before uh, body start and before body end. So let's get started with that. Uh, first of all, I will need a controller. So I will have the configuration file frontend routes.xml to routes. Name is a header footer rips and module name is training header so i've created the module but it's just a skeleton so it doesn't have anything it's just the module file and the registration file now we are creating the co controller let's keep on controller index index training our class this and add the page factory initialize it and then we will return page page result page factory let's fix it now if we flush cache to go to the page we will can here copy this we can write index index but that's redundant so we just keep it up to this one because we're running with index index okay we have our page we have our controller working and we have our page and this is only for uh, explanation uh, purposes it doesn't do anything now let's start with the real work now we need to include javascript in the header in every page so first of all we will need to create this script and this will be in view frontend then templates templates then I will have a folder inside templates called head additional and say script or default. You can name it any name, PHTML. Now what I'm going to do here is just write a script tag, then bar object one name is then console log object one. The name will be header footer script additional and then we say default. That's it. Now we need to create the layout. The layout will be default.xml inside the layout folder. Now we need it inside body and then from the body we need a reference block called head additional and then we include our block. So we create block name header footer script default. And then the template will be training header footer script scripts. The folder is called head additional inside templates and default html let's have this inside the new line then we need the class class will be magento remark you remind that's it that's all we need and this will be in the default and this will have script in fact i will make the name as exactly the same as this so they are unique and i think there's all to it we can refresh cache the layout and block html if we refresh now after refresh we will see we should see the log and here it is name header footer script now if we inspect if we see the page source we will see this is included inside a script tag within the head so it's within the head inside head we see body now we search for body this is the body this is the closing tag of the head and it's included inside the head so this is the head additional includes the scripts the javascripts inside head and not inside the body it's just inside the head you will have different scripts inside the head and inside the body but it's at the beginning of this at the start of the body so when the body starts then you will have some scripts as you can see here but the head additional will add it in the head and not after the body opening tag. Anyway, let's move on. So this is on this header for the secret page, but should be included in every page, not just this page, because this is in the default layout. You can see here, you can go to the category and you will see the same log from the JavaScript. You can see it here. So it's included in every page. So what we need to do now is to include it in only in header footer scripts. So it only applies here and if you navigate away from this page the script is not triggered and it's not included let's do that now first of all we need a head additional but we will name it a different name so we just copy this paste it header footer script or this name script. 
script then another footer script here or just script and now we just copy this and paste it header footer script so this is the id and then we need the index plus index so what we use in here is exactly whatever is in the routes we pick in this id and then append it with index index because the controller comes after controller index index so header underscore footer underscore script underscore index underscore index dot xml so this is the layout for this one and here we just remove the default and here instead of default we will name it header footer scripts so header footer scripts and this is just scripts and this will be ending with default now if we i think this is good to go if we just refresh cache and then refresh you can see the header footer script it triggered first and then the page the specific to the page triggered the second if we navigate away and we go to the home page we only get this the default one if we go to any category pages we go to product page cms pages like about us we only get the default scripts triggered because this is the only one that's included but if we go to the head footer header footer script we will have two that's because this is included both scripts are included in this page so this is the default and this is the other script so if we inspect the home page or view page source for the home page we will see it's only one script is included so this is how it works on the head additional uh, i think that's it for now and uh, next we will see how we can work on the before body start and before body end until then i see you next time